starts right now. It's one of the biggest stories this week, the salmonella outbreak at the popular posh Mediterranean grill. Metro Health releasing the latest numbers earlier today, 184 confirmed cases, far more than the initial estimate of 60. Seven people have also been hospitalized. The night team's Jaffney Gray spoke to one family who thinks they may be part of the growing number of customers who have gotten sick. I won in Mexico, so they were they were they were heck bent on on Greek Greek slash Mediterranean. So yeah. Said, well, okay then. A week ago, the Vance family had one final goodbye dinner at Pasha Mediterranean Grill on Wurzbach near I-10 before seeing their daughters off, who live outside the country. The food was good. The food was outstanding. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> the service was outstanding as usual. Fast forward a couple of days. And everything was great until about Saturday. Was it Saturday? Saturday afternoon. It was. <laughs> I had to literally pull over and run into a fast food restaurant to use the bathroom. Then I got home. I was like, man, maybe I, I don't know. My stomach's just been acting strange, you know. And, uh, and then I was like, yeah, me too. Not knowing where it came from, that strange feeling got worse. You got home that morning, fever, chills. You said you felt like you got beaten up by yeah, I felt like probably four about six people jumped on me and beat me up at the same time. Yeah. Even spreading to their daughters who are now overseas. The main symptom, diarrhea. Rick says despite his condition, he worried for his pregnant wife. Having a career in the medical field, he hooked her to an IV from home. It scared us. It scared me to death, though, you know, um, you know, with, with her, her being, you know, we're over 31 weeks, so, you know, yeah. that, you know, dehydration can put her in preterm labor, so, yeah, we were, we were pretty Like, concerned. I'm ready to have this baby, but it's not a good idea, so. <laughs> the family is doing better, and though they didn't go to the doctor, they do believe it was salmonella poisoning, but that hasn't been confirmed by Metro Health. The Vance family says this won't keep them away from the restaurant as long as the violations are addressed. Now, as of right now, the restaurant and the San Antonio Metropolitan Health District are working closely together to figure out how this spread of salmonella happened. Again, if you do feel like you may have been affected, you're urged to call 311 to report your illness. And you're also advised to seek medical treatment immediately. Bill, ECs? All right, thanks, Jaffney. A mother in Converse has been arrested and charged for allegedly hurting her baby. Converse police got the case in August when a seven-week-old baby ended up at San Antonio Children's Hospital. The infant had eight fractures, some that were already healing. After interviews and further investigation, 33-year-old Melissa Harris was arrested. She's being charged with injury to a child. Several elementary students are facing disciplinary action after a fourth grader brought a BB gun onto the school bus. The students were from Ball Academy, which is part of SAISD. The school's principal says the student began shooting the BB gun on the bus and then it got passed around to other students. Some kids did suffer minor injuries but were otherwise okay. It's unclear what disciplinary action the students will receive. A woman involved in the shooting of a mail carrier in Spring Branch last year has been sentenced to 20 years in prison. 27-year-old Sarah Richford pled guilty to five charges back in February, including aiding and abetting carjacking, use of a firearm, robbery of U.S. mail, and assault on a federal officer. She is the second person in the case to be sentenced. In July, Bradley Ahern was sentenced to 20 years, and 41-year-old Piper Lee is expected to be sentenced in November. Educating our youth was the leading topic of discussion for Senate District 19 candidate Pete Gallegos ahead of a special runoff election to fill the seat, but his opponent Pete Flores was a no-show. The 19th's Devin Clark tells us about some of the issues raised by community members. With an audience of mostly middle school students from District 19, a forum held at Compass Rose Academy, a public charter school on the south side, focused on the future of education in Texas. We pay a large amount of taxes into our public education, and I would like to see the salaries increased of teachers, the money stay within the school. Questions were directed at Senate District 19 candidate Pete Gallego, a Democrat who, according to his website, helped pass 300 bills, including legislation that built hospitals and affordable housing. While he's still on the fence about charter schools, Gallego expressed a strong stance on public school education. So many communities in Senate District 19 that the public school option is the only option that they have. And so I want to make sure that it's a great option, that's a world-class option. Gallego's contender, Pete Flores, considers himself a strong conservative with 
endorsements from Senator Ted Cruz and Governor Greg Abbott. Flores couldn't make the form today, but sent us a statement expressing why he's all for public charter school education. It reads, quote, public charter schools have my support. Parents should be the driver of policy and education, and we all want the same for our children, a quality education, end quote. Whoever wins will be filling the seat of former Democratic Senator Carlos Uresti, who resigned amid his fraud convictions and is headed to prison to serve a 12-year sentence. Early voting starts on Monday and ends Friday. The actual election will be September 18th. Bill, ECs. Thank you, Devin. A man who had hundreds of snakes seized from his home yesterday is expected to be in court next week. We're also getting a look at some of the snakes he owned. Animal Care Services released these pictures today. Some are ball pythons and others are reticulated pythons. ACS says the longest snake was about 18 feet long. Another one was about 12 feet long and two others about seven or eight feet long. The rest of them range from one to five feet long. Officials say many of the snakes are still sick from their previous conditions and are being treated. ACS officers found some of the snakes inside the home. The rest were found outside in a shed. Authorities say the man was breeding the snakes to sell them. At next week's hearing, a judge will determine where the snakes will go. Three stories to note tonight. The three men killed in a downtown Cincinnati office shooting, ranging in age from 25 to 64. All three were killed when police say 29-year-old Omar Enrique Santa Perez opened fire on the 30-story building. Two other people were injured before police shot and killed Perez. The motive behind the shooting is still unclear. New emails released from Brett Kavanaugh's time in the George W. Bush White House suggest the Supreme Court nominee was deeply involved in Bush's judicial nom nominations. According to the emails, Kavanaugh pushed two Justice Department officials for seats on a federal appeals court in 2001. The confidential emails were released by Democratic Senator Cory Booker during day three of Kavanaugh's confirmation hearing. Deliverance, Smokey and the Bandit, and Boogie Nights, just a few of the classics actor Burt Reynolds will be remembered for. The film and TV star died at the age of 82 today from cardiac arrest. His acting career spans more than 50 years, but he said Deliverance is by far his best film, and it's credited for launching his career. Well, Mayor Ron Nirenberg says he's very pleased with the City Council's decision to accept key recommendations to ensure adequate supply of affordable housing in the Alamo City. Over the past decade, San Antonio housing prices rose by about 5%, while incomes have only increased by about 2% per year. The Housing Policy Task Force suggested recommendations to solve our affordable housing prob problem, including creating a coordinated housing system led by a city executive, focused exclusively on housing, incentives to spur development of affordable housing units, and measures to protect neighborhoods from displacement. Well, what I hope is that we have, are actually beginning to turn the corner on the number of families and the proportion of families who are cost burdened. So we are looking to create a, a healthy, uh, quality, affordable, sustainable housing environment for the city of San Antonio. In order to successfully implement the mayor's housing policy task force's report, the mayor and city council must pass a budget that prioritizes housing. That vote is expected to take place next week. Still ahead on the night beat, the boys rescued from a Thai cave reunited with the people that saved them and the Trump administration's new plan for undocumented families, how it would affect them, and the reason behind the change. Plus, local clinics are already preparing for flu season. And coming up next, when construction is set to begin for the Hardberger Park Land Bridge. We'll be right back. Friday on GMSA, San Antonio celebrates the World Heritage Festival. We'll preview an event called Mission Pachanga, the food and entertainment you can expect this weekend. Well, it's been raining practically all week long. Is that going to continue into the weekend? Find out Friday, 4.30 to 7 on Good Morning San Antonio. More and more people are finding themselves in a Chevy for the first time. You can, too, during the Chevy Labor Day sales event. Now use Labor Day cash to get a total value of $87.50 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus, trade up and get an additional $32.50 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. This Labor Day, discover why Chevy is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads.
firm has been extended through Tuesday. And Brecken and Maryland can tell you with time running out, this is a deal you don't want to sleep on. Don't miss your chance to take home a free adjustable base up to a $699 value free with your qualifying mattress purchase. Or through Tuesday, get a king-size mattress for the price of a queen and a queen for a twin. Plus, every bet is on sale with savings of up to $600. Hurry in. The Labor Day sale is extended through Tuesday only. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. Bosses, bullies, conquistadores. El Paso's rich and powerful stay that way by controlling politicians like Beto O'Rourke. As Councilman Beto carried water for his wealthy father-in-law, the developer behind a downtown redevelopment scheme, pushing the city to bulldoze an historic Hispanic neighborhood using eminent domain. A government wrecking ball displacing poor families to enrich his own. Beto the Bully. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. Construction on the land bridge at Phil Hardberger Park is expected to begin in October. Today, City Council approved an ordinance authorizing the work to begin over Wurzbach Parkway between Blanco and Northwest Military. The land bridge will provide pedestrians, bicyclists, and wildlife mobility throughout the park. Funding is coming from the 2017 bond program. The Trump administration is trying to keep some undocumented immigrant children in detention for far longer than currently allowed. The proposed regulation would circumvent a court settlement that has set standards for the care of children in immigration detention centers for 20 years. It would free the administration to have much broader authorities over how undocumented immigrant children are treated in its care. The administration argues that by holding families as long as their immigration case moves through the system and deporting them more quickly, Families will be less inclined to try to come to the U.S. illegally. Police were chasing after him for car burglaries at a Northside apartment complex, but later learned the young man was wanted for capital murder after he told them about it. 18-year-old Joel Sambrano was arrested this morning. He was wanted in connection to a deadly home invasion and shooting back in July. 26-year-old Roy Ponce was killed during the attempted robbery. A juvenile who witnessed the shooting was able to identify Sombrano as the man who pulled the trigger. Sombrano's older brother, Paul, is also charged with murder in connection to the incident. Sombrano appeared to be relieved he was arrested by police because he told officers he was wanted by U.S. Marshals. It's Hemisphere's Labor Day Sale. Furnish your life with style and save up to 40% or more on Hemisphere's select merchandise store-wide. Like the Jolie Queen bed, only $6.99. Save big during Hemisphere's Labor Day Sale. I'm Gina Ortiz-Jones, and I approve this message. Sir, do you know who your congressman is? Uh, no, I don't. Well, it's this guy, Will Hurd. What has he been up to? The guy who helped Congress screw up health care? Well, Heard voted for the Republican tax law that'll raise taxes on millions of middle-class families and increase health care premiums. Plus, gives massive tax cuts to corporations and the wealthiest 1% of Americans. He didn't mention that on TV. <sighs> that seems bad. I know, right? Any thoughts on that, Will? Distracted truck drivers and defective equipment are common causes of trucking accidents. Thomas J. Henry has been helping 18-wheeler accident victims for more than 25 years. Call now. Our attorneys are available 24-7, nights and weekends. Ulysses, his sister Molly, Henry, who's seven. I want to be there with them, but more importantly, I want to anticipate the question that they're going to ask me in the years to come. When everything that mattered to us was on the line, where were you? Let's meet the pettiness, the bigotry, the anxiety that dominates so much of national life today with a courage, a strength, a big heart that could only be born of Texas. I'm Beto O'Rourke and I approve this message. It's Hemisphere's Labor Day sale and the perfect time to update your home. Right now you can take an extra 15% off all home decor and accessories. Say big during Hemisphere's Labor Day sale. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV.
It was a real life drama that captured the attention of the world in July. Cave rescuers defined the odds to save a young Thai football team trapped for weeks. Well, now those boys got a chance to thank the heroes in person. The Thai government hosted an appreciation party for the rescuers who came from multiple countries and the soccer team in Bangkok. For many of the boys, it was the first time they'd ever set foot in Bangkok, and they were greeted by the Thai Prime Minister himself. Rescuers who were at the gala spoke about the mission, which was at times a deadly operation. One Thai seal diver lost his life. We don't do these things expecting this to happen. We do them just because we want to help people and the recognition and all this sort of stuff this is not why we do any of the rescue operations. We just do it from the heart. The boys have been kept away from journalists since the ordeal, so today was also the first opportunity to speak with them and get photographs. Some of the boys telling reporters they wanted to grow up to become professional soccer players. And another boy said he wanted to become a seal diver, inspired by some of the rescuers who saved him and his team. The boys also said they're happy to be back at school now, but this was clearly a chance to celebrate. The Thai government calling this evening, quote, united as one. Well, the final go-ahead was given today to redevelop the former San Antonio Light Building. This is the latest rendering from Gray Street Partners. The former newspaper building sits on Broadway Street near McCullough Avenue. The Historic Design and, or, Historic and Design Review Commission gave its final stamp of approval on modifications to the print building, <coughs> which will be connected to the Light Building. We first told you about the plans for redevelopment in March. It will be a mixed-use office and retail space. Construction is already underway and is expected to be done by next spring. Flu shots will begin arriving at clinics and hospitals this month. Texas Health and Human Services shows some flu activity in the state. In Bear County, some cases of influenza-like illnesses are being reported. The night team's Patty Santos tells us why parents of young children need to take precautions ahead of flu season. And troubling was that there was a really high rate of pediatric mortality kids dying from the flu last year, more, more last year than in the prior three years. Nationwide, the CDC says 180 kids died from the flu last year. 80% of them had not received the flu shot. We're always tracking. Doctors at University Hospital expect to see more cases of upper respiratory viruses by the end of the month. There's adenovirus, there's flu A, there's flu B. They're already testing patients who come in with flu-like symptoms. When they come in with flu symptoms or respiratory illness, uh, they, they do the swab uh, wherever they're being seen in clinic or the urgent care clinic, and then those are sent up here to the virology microbiology lab. And no flu cases to report so yet. Needs, it's important for everybody to get their vaccine early instead of waiting. We never know when the flu season is going to start. He's predicting the H1N1 strain, and this year, the nasal wash may be an option again. American Academy of Pediatrics is saying that you should still probably get the shot, preferably, over the nasal wash, but the nasal wash is acceptable this year. It is Doctors back. recommend you get the flu shot before the end of October and before the peak of the season around the holidays. People say, well, the vaccine isn't 100%, right? It's, and that's true. But even if people get sick, people that have been vaccinated tend to be less sick. Key ways to protect yourself are by wiping surfaces, washing your hands often, and coughing or sneezing inside your sleeve. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. Well, turning now to weather, 77 degrees out there, and today was muggy. Oh. <laughs> it was just gross out there. Wait till I show you the yeah. dew points. Oh, they are way up. Feel it. You get a lot of rain, moisture in the ground, it translates into the humidity in the mm -hmm. air, which, hey, it's, it's an okay side effect. Yes. We need the rain. Right. Yes. It's been a good thing. So I have a lot of really good news for you that I'm going to start off with. So first, let's get to our almanac data, along with a beautiful time lapse from this afternoon on through sunset. Now look at this, earlier today, we're looking from I-10-410 inter interchange toward downtown, downtown on the center part of your screen. Look at that nice rain shaft and those rain showers. Moving on through. Behind them, we actually had a little bit of clearing and a little bit of blue sky out there. Not a whole lot of clearing, but even a little blue mixed in with the white and gray. Just under a half inch of rain at the airport today. So since Monday, we've had 7.33 inches of rainfall at the airport. I mean, it's, it's an astounding number and been very good for the drought situation and the aquifer. 90 degrees, the high temperature, the average being 93 in our record high, 102 set back in 2000. I mentioned the aquifer. I love to show this map. So the drainage zone, recharge zone, 
These are the sweet spots. This is where you really want the rain, but especially right in the recharge zone. And look at this. We have those zones outlined for you and the rainfall ac accumulations since Monday are on the order of, and these are just the estimates, but on the order of anywhere from a few inches to upwards of eight, nine inches in a couple of pockets, such as Northern Bear County, right over the recharge zone. The aquifer, it's up 10 feet since Monday and continues to rise and respond. So this is last week's drought monitor. I'll step out of the way. Notice all the red off to the west. Boom, you go into this week. And we wiped away a lot of the extreme and even the exceptional drought off to the west. Now this does not take into account any of the rainfall from 7 a.m. Tuesday all the way up to current time. Because that's their analysis time and then by Thursday morning they issue the new drought monitor. So next week's should be even better and it's something I'm looking forward to. All right, so rainfall today. We had a nice little pocket of rain here in Bear County. Most of the action was off to the west, even in Valverde County. But we had a little pocket east side of town, not too bad, right along I-10 there. Pretty much the China Grove area, about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. As I mentioned, just under half an inch at the airport. Off to the north, we still have activity north of I-10 and even the Austin area had some thunderstorms, a lot of lightning associated with them earlier. Not much left over within our viewing area. Even the action off to the west has pretty much fizzled out. But I do think we'll see more development of a few showers developing later on tonight and just a couple here and there for the morning tomorrow, but becoming widespread again by the afternoon. So for the most part, we topped out near 90. Rock Springs, an exception at 77, and only in the 70s in Del Rio because of the rain. <laughs> we talked about the humidity and the dew points. Deweys are well into the 70s. We are definitely in the oppressive levels of humidity, and get used to it because with all this rain, it's gonna stick around for a while. Right now we're in the 70s, and across the state, mostly 70s, some 60s as well. What I love about this is you see all the good, healthy, soaking rain across the state. And look at this, no heat high, over the US, we actually just have a few disturbances and little upper level lows here and there. But I wanna to quickly touch on Hurricane Florence. It weakened significantly, and not even a hurricane anymore, actually a tropical storm, tropical storm Florence. Max sustained winds at 70 miles per hour. It should re-strengthen as it moves westward. And by early next week, Monday, 7 p.m., possibly a major hurricane again in the east coast of the US, obviously monitoring that closely, and we'll keep you posted. So rain becoming widespread again by tomorrow afternoon, about 91 for the high temperature. And we're increasing the rain coverage and the rain chances for the weekend, particularly Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, on into the first part of Sunday. We think we'll have better upper level support and more numerous and more shower, numerous showers and downpours out there. Loving the, guy. I was yeah. gonna say, loving the rain, just not enjoying the mold and all the yeah. things that come with it. Mm. I know the Unfortunate feeling. side effect. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks so much, Adam. Thank you, Adam. And there's still a lot more to come on the night beat. Including the latest on the Delta wildfire in California, how firefighters are planning to handle the blaze overnight. Plus, how a pamphlet promoting safe use of marijuana ended up in the wrong hands, and who's apologizing for the mistake. And video captured of a woman falling through a restaurant ceiling. Why she told police she was there to begin with. And all eyes tonight on football, the NFL, but tomorrow night, Friday Night Lights, and a big showdown. Well, and we have big game coverage also on a Thursday night, also a district showdown already because the Northside School District is so big. When we come back, already two big district showdowns tonight and big game coverage and defending home field. Can't let the hero folks do it at Alamo Stadium. Coming up. Spas and swim spots going on now at Family Leisure. At the Kalig Auto Group, our goal is to provide our customers with an outstanding sales and service experience as measured by each manufacturer's highest award, like Volkswagen's Diamond Pin Award, earned by North Park Volkswagen in 2017, making them one of only five dealers in the U.S. and the only dealer in Texas to earn Volkswagen's most coveted award. You'll get no hassle posted pricing and respect for your time at every dealership of the Kalig Auto Group.
last chance for amazing Labor Day offers at Ashley Home Store. This Friday only, save 25% off your first item, then save 20% off the rest of your purchase. Or 60 months no interest at all four San Antonio Ashley Home Stores. Beto O'Rourke says there's no crisis on the border. Of course there is. And O'Rourke's part of the problem. Rolling out the red carpet for illegal immigrants. Taxpayer-funded benefits. Sanctuary cities. While voting against body armor for Texas sheriffs patrolling the border. Now, O'Rourke's talking about abolishing ICE. Giving free reign to Mexican drug cartels. Lawless borders. Reckless politician. That's Beto O'Rourke. Texans are as responsible for the content of this advertising. Hurry in for huge savings on trucks and Jeeps at North Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat during our summer clearance event. Get even more savings on a 2018 Ram Lone Star Crew Cab. $15,000 off and only $289 a month and no payments for 90 days. Or get $7,000 off a 2018 Jeep Wrangler. We have several to choose from at your savings destination. North Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat. One block south of North Star Mall. Open Sunday. It's your last chance for amazing Labor Day offers at Ashley Home Store. This Friday only, save 25% off your first item, then save 20% off the rest of your purchase. Or 60 months no interest at all four San Antonio Ashley Home Stores. The Case at Weather Authority app. Download it for free and instantly get an hour-by-hour -hour forecast for today and tomorrow. Plan ahead with the seven-day forecast. The Case at Weather Authority app. Sponsored by Comfort Air Engineering and Five Star Cleaners. The big game and our big game coverage on Thursday night is at Gusterson Stadium. That's where the Stevens Falcons were taking the Brandeis Broncos. We're the first quarter score tied at 7 all. Brandeis inside the Falcons 10 at the 6. Bronco quarterback Jordan Battles rolls right, but he throws back to his left. He's caught by Brandon Pate. Picks up a drop block to get into the end zone. 14 to 7 lead. Falcons answer. Stevens on the 12. Clarence Lee takes the handoff. He breaks three tackles to get in the end zone. We're tied at 14 all. The final from Gusterson Stadium. Brandeis goes to 2 0, 59 to 14. Now let's head over to Ferris Stadium where the Jay Mustangs are also district already in district play as well in 28-6A against the Clark Cougars tonight. Cougars with the ball until the Jay defense steps in here. Thomas Kelly causes a fumble. It's recovered by Justin Justice Sheridan. Jay ball on the turnover. That leads to the this for the Mustangs. Jacob Zeno drops back, feels the pressure, takes off with a 34-yard scamper to get the Mustangs a 6-0 lead after the two-point conversion attempt was no good. Final from Ferris. Here it is, 36-28. Jay off to Alamo Stadium where the Lanier Vokes we're hosting the Pleasanton Eagles. Pleasanton is leading 3 to nothing. third quarter. From the 29-yard line, Johnny Zamora with a play-action pass to Dalton Hobbs on the wide receiver screen. Picks up 10, now 20. How about 50 yards? 63-yard gain to be exact. Get all the way down to the 17-yard line. This time, Zamora hooks up with Hobbs again and is going 17 yards in the air. Leaps over the defender to make the touchdown grab. That made it 9 to nothing. The final from Alamo Stadium. Pleasanton takes it 30 to nothing. Now let's head to Harlandale Memorial Stadium where the Lavernia Bears showed up to take on the McCullum Cowboys. Bears have a great run running back and Diego Mendoza watching shed not one not two not three but four would be tacklers to get into the end zone on this play 28 yard run and he's not done watch him on this 22 yard touchdown not only does he shed would be tacklers he spins away from another Lavernia goes up 21 and nothing let's head to the big game coverage scoreboard for some finals for you you see that 55 to 7 Smithson Valley and Pflugerville had to be called off canceled because of lightning in the Austin area other scores look like this Brandeis with a win Jay with a win as well and Pleasanton with a shutout over Lanier Texas offensive lineman had to be rushed to the hospital after suffering a heat-related illness. Patrick Hudson's body temperature rose excessively during practice today in Austin. Head coach Tom Herman said his players suffered a full-body cramp issue. Herman telling us after practice when the Texas training staff immediately immersed his 6'5", 330-pound backup left guard into a cold tank. His body temp did not reach normal. An ambulance was called. He was placed in intensive care. Body temperature rose. Our staff did a great job. Got him dunked in a cold tank. Got his temperature drop, uh, sent him to the hospital. Uh, the doctors there got his temperature all the way back down to, to normal. And then uh, the, all of the, the tests are to try to figure out why. Now he is out of ICU. The injuries to Indy race car driver Robert Wickens revealed by his family today that will result in months of rehabilitation. Got that for in just a few minutes. He sees and Bill. And it includes seven fractures. Wow. I've seen that a couple times. It never gets easy. And I don't know how he survived it. Thank you, Greg. Sure. It was day three of confirmation hearings for Brett Kavanaugh. The touchy subject brought up in today's hearing and when the Senate is expected to vote on his confirmation. Next.
Have you lost a family member or a friend in a car or truck wreck? Call the Fours right now. That's 444-4444. There's only one number to remember. Four. Ready for office furniture? Desk Galore has new and used desks, chairs, file cabinets, bookcases, and much more. We have a big selection in our 35,000 square foot warehouse showroom. We're at 210 Pro Bend. Open Monday through Saturday, 930 to 5 p.m. Four years ago, I made some big promises, and I work every day to keep them. Here in Texas, jobs are booming, wages are rising, and unemployment hit record lows. Schools are stronger. High school graduation rates are at all-time highs. Families are safer. We're locking up thousands of dangerous gang members. We've achieved a lot. Now I'll promise you one more thing. We're just getting started. See the elephants, tigers, dogs, aerial axe, and world record holder human cannonball at the Shrine Circus. Enjoy the magnificent elephants while you still can and make memories for a lifetime. Bring the family one and all to the Shrine Circus. Come see the elephants at the Shrine Circus September 14th through the 16th at Joe Freeman Coliseum. Come to the circus, the biggest show in town. More and more people are finding themselves in a Chevy for the first time. You can, too, during the Chevy Labor Day sales event. Now use Labor Day cash to get a total value of $87.50 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus, trade up and get an additional $32.50 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. This Labor Day, discover why Chevy is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Now at Con's Home Plus, save a lot of green during our Labor Day red, white, and blue tag sale. Save up to 35% or more on red tag appliances. Save 50% on white tag furniture bonus offers. And save up to $1,900 on blue tag big screen TVs. Want a low monthly payment? Good credit or no credit, we've got you covered. Go to cons.com to get approved. You want a better life and a better Friendship is the Texas state motto, and our way of being friendly is with dessert. Get the Texas Blizzard meal deal. A hunger buster, fries, a drink, and a mini blizzard, all for $5.99. Eat like a Texan, DQ. Day three of hearings for Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh have wrapped up in Washington. Women's rights and Robert Mueller, just two topics addressed during today's discussion. ABC's Janae Norman has details from the nation's capital. Day three of Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation hearings getting off to a fiery start. Democratic senators joining that resistance, taking their own dramatic stand. Senator Cory Booker releasing confidential emails from Judge Kavanaugh's years inside the George W. Bush White House, ignoring Senate rules. One of those emails dealing with racial profiling post 9-11. I openly invite and accept the consequences of my team releasing that email right now. Other Democrats standing with Booker. Count me in. Count me in too. But Republicans saying it was all just for show. The documents had been released overnight. Democrats then turning to abortion and a 2003 email Kavanaugh wrote about Roe v. Wade. It reads, I'm not sure that all legal scholars refer to Roe as the settled law of the land at the Supreme Court level since court can always overrule its precedent. Democrats asking if that was a hint he'd overturn the landmark ruling. It was referring to the views of uh, legal scholars and I think I, I think my comment in the email is that might be overstating the position of legal scholars. Another topic of particular interest to Democrats, how Kavanaugh might handle any matters related to President Trump, including special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. I haven't had any inappropriate conversations about that investigation with anyone. The Senate is expected to vote on Kavanaugh's confirmation next month. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington. The latest on the Delta fire burning in Northern California that fire now tripling in size spread across 15,000 acres tonight. Officials say people are having to abandon their vehicles along the interstate near the fire since part of the highway remains closed in both directions. Thousands of homes, several schools and roadways have been impacted so far. Right now, there are about 600 firefighters working on containment, but the area is burning. It's burning in is continuously fueling the flames. 
We'll have crews going 24 hours this evening. Of course, the um, air attack will be grounded for the evening. Fire officials say the record for the most amount of retardant drops in a single year has already been broken and fire season is not yet over. Around Texas tonight, Houston police are still looking for a pair of siblings who disappeared just days apart. Police say on August 26, Rogelio Escobar never returned from a trip to the convenience store. According to his family, his sister Dina Escobar was looking for him two days after his disappearance and also never returned. Police later found her vehicle burning on a Galveston beach, but have little information on how it got there or on their whereabouts. Volunteers have been helping search for them over the last several days. Other stories around America, marijuana. It may be legal in some states, but parents in Colorado are upset over a mistake made by the state's health department concerning their children. The issue deals with pamphlets promoting the safe use of marijuana which were found inside competition bags children received while getting ready to compete at the state fair. The pamphlets read, take an edible, take it easy, keep your stash safe and sound. A bit of advice parents say they didn't ask for. It just really shocked me. It would be the equivalent of them saying, hey, if you're gonna drink vodka, this is the proper way to drink vodka. Do it um, sparingly. The Colorado Department of Public Health has apologized for the mistake, saying the education materials were intended for adults. Well, he was running from police, but ended up needing their help after running into a canal filled with toxic algae. Police say the pursuit started after officers, officers tried pulling Abraham Duarte over for a traffic stop in Florida. He reportedly got out of the car, ran off, and jumped into the canal, which was filled with toxic, toxic algae blooms. Officers eventually helped get him out and arrested him after he was cleared by doctors. He is now charged with resisting arrest and possession of a controlled substance. A frightening scene out of California where a woman fell through the ceiling of a restaurant. The whole thing caught on camera. Take a look. Police say before falling, the woman had asked to use the bathroom. Employees say they didn't think anything was wrong until they noticed pieces of the ceiling falling off and what appeared to be someone walking above them. When police... We were so scared that she was going to, like, run across and land and on someone. So we didn't know where. When police asked the woman what she was doing, she told them she was looking for the bus stop and was following directions from someone who told her it was up and to the right. Police believe she may have been under the influence. We have a recaller for you tonight. Ford is recalling two million of its best-selling vehicles over a safety issue with the seatbelts. The recall affects Ford F-150 regular cab and super crew cab vehicles with model years 2015 to 2018. The company says the seatbelts can generate sparks which could start a fire. More than a dozen incidents have been reported in the U.S., along with six others in Canada. If you own one of these trucks, you should take it to the dealer for a repair. Oh, when it comes to homeowners insurance, rates in Texas are the seventh highest in the nation. So if you're looking to save money on your pricey premium, investing in a couple of upgrades can make a difference. Consumer reporter Marilyn Moritz explains which fixes could work in your favor. Texas homeowners insurance premiums are through the roof. But if you're replacing an old roof, it will curb those costs. It's a significant upfront cost. A new roof is pricey, but contractor Brendan Rogers says a sound roof prevents even more expensive issues like rot and damage by water leaks. A better roof will reduce the insurance claims drastically. So insurance companies offer discounts ranging from 5 to 35 percent, depending on where you live, the kind of roofing materials, and your insurance company. Installing a home security system, that may also save on premiums. Discounts are more likely if the system is connected to an outside monitoring service check before you buy. Insurance companies are looking for upgrades that will improve safety and security. Any type of uh, accidental misuse of an outlet 
These will trip. If you need to upgrade your electrical wiring to safer standards, that can pay off too. We found one company that would give up to 8% off your premium if you upgraded your electrical and plumbing. If you have a stationary generator for power outages, be sure to ask about another discount. We'll be going to our insurance company and finding out if there's any potential savings there. And don't forget the simple precautions. Certain fire and smoke alarms can mean a 2 to 6% discount. Be sure to check with your insurance company to be sure you're getting all of the discounts you're entitled to. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News. All right, I want to put this recent rainfall in perspective and even annual rainfall in perspective here in San Antonio. We got 7.33 inches of rain and that event plus two other events totaling 10 days accounted for 75 percent of our rainfall so far this year all right we'll be back to chat more about rain that's in the forecast even for the weekend coming right up thank you adam a new study is linking smoking with dementia why you might want to forget the cigarettes before it's too late Plus, Amazon making big strides with its small delivery business program. The prospects the company expects to see by the end of the year next. Enjoy the pancation of a lifetime with International Pancakes at IHOP with Belgian dark chocolate or Tres Leches pancakes. Starting at $4.99 for a limited time only. If you or a loved one has been injured in an auto or truck accident, call 210-222-2288 or Google Carabin Shaw. Ulysses his sister Molly, Henry, who's seven. I want to be there with them, but more importantly, I want to anticipate the question that they're going to ask me in the years to come. When everything that mattered to us was on the line, where were you? Let's meet the pettiness, the bigotry, the anxiety that dominates so much of national life today with a courage, a strength, a big heart that could only be born of Texas. I'm Beto O'Rourke, and I approve this message. The aquifer continues to respond to the rainfall. It's up 10 feet since Monday. A side effect, though, is mold very high with a count of over 11,000. If you have a car, you could get cash. With a title loan at Speedy Cash, you get more cash, up to $10,000 for any maker model. Apply for a title loan at Speedy Cash today and unlock more cash. Love that Speedy Cash. Well, the Martins came over, we were having spaghetti when we suddenly noticed that we started getting sweaty. So I grabbed the keys and we ate it in the car. And that's when my friend said, you gotta call Rosenbergair.com. They give you full service and they never take long. Home energy makeover, I've been told, will help you when it's hot or cold. Yeah, Rosenbergair.com. Special financing available on select train comfort systems. It's hard to stop a train. Rosenbergair.com. More people are finding themselves in a Chevy for the first time. You can too during the Chevy Labor Day sales event. Now use Labor Day cash to get a total value of $87.50 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus, trade up and get an additional $32.50 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. This Labor Day, discover why Chevy is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. If you have a car, you could get cash. With a title loan at Speedy Cash, you get more cash, up to $10,000 for any maker model. Apply for a title loan at Speedy Cash today and unlock more cash. Love that Speedy Cash. Everyone's talking about Kimmel. They said he's the most important host in late night. Really? They said he's late night's clearest voice. They said I was extremely well endowed. Oh, no one said that? <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel Live, weeknights on ABC. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Google wants to know why people are having such a hard time disconnecting. Its researchers are looking into the problem, saying a huge factor is the fear of missing out or FOMO and the pressure to quickly respond to messages. Now, another problem is tech's use of elevated engagement as a success metric. It is all part of Google's well-being initiative, which is meant to control tech use. And Starbucks goes grand for its Italian debut. Why not? The company opening its first store in the birthplace of Espresso. The reserve roastery location is inside an old post.
post office in central Milan. And in addition to coffee roasted on site, it will include a bakery, a pizzeria, and alcoholic beverages. Plus, Burberry says it's ending the controversial practice of destroying unsold merchandise. The company's CEO says it will no longer burn its excess inventory, something many high-end brands do to maintain exclusivity. Last year, Burberry destroyed nearly $35 million worth of goods. And Nike and LeBron James are teaming up with Harlem Fashion Road to release a special edition of the LeBron 16, the superstar's newest signature shoe. Cheddar talked to the all-female design team about their creative process. We, we collaborated, we came together as three women, three individual designers, three individual brands to work on a project that we had no idea that we were going to do, that we were going to do together. And we wound up finding something in us that we could not have dreamed of, we could not have imagined, and all of that is poured into the shoes. And that's your Cheddar Business and Tech Update. I'm Kristen Schroeder from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. 36. In other consumer headlines, Amazon seeing a higher demand to be part of its new delivery program. The interest increasing so much, the company has ordered an additional 20,000 Sprinter vans. That's nearly four times the original amount the company projected. By the end of the year, Amazon is expecting to see about 100 small delivery businesses set up nationwide. The company says thousands of people have already applied, and once the program is up and running, it won't rely as heavily on other carriers for delivery. Oh, when it comes to smoking, we already know it's not good for you. But if you're having trouble quitting, Courtney Friedman explains the research you might want to remember the next time you reach for a cigarette. Lung cancer, emphysema, heart disease, pneumonia. Smoking has a long list of risks that you've heard of before. What you haven't heard, a higher risk of dementia. A group of researchers in South Korea studied over 45,000 men to see if their smoking patterns were associated with the development of dementia. The good news, those who had quit for at least four years and those who had never smoked had a lower dementia risk than those who had just quit smoking or continued to smoke. The type of dementia they looked at is vascular dementia, caused by problems in the blood flow to the brain. They didn't see any difference in risk between the smoke who quit and those who didn't in the development of Alzheimer's dementia. So a long list of reasons to quit smoking just got longer. If you're looking to quit, call your doctor. They'll have a lot of options to help you stub out your last cigarette. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. All right, turning now to weather. It's been a wet week, and that's going to continue according to your forecast. It is, yeah, and I think it's going to pick up a little bit more as we get into the weekend. And with saturated soil again feels good to say that mm -hmm. uh, we could run the risk of some flash flooding so it's just something to keep in the back of your yeah, mind for sure especially if you're traveling around and especially this weekend mm -hmm. when we think it'll pick up a little bit more so it's good we, we need the rain and it looks like we'll get more of it that's positive the aquifer continues to rise and respond so let's take a look at the radar now we do have a little bit of rain out there not a whole lot but a few showers especially in the hill country but before we get to radar we'll take a look at city cam because i love this animation and this time lapse it is wonderful we'll take a look at the time lapse well maybe radar first okay here we go hold on <laughs> Here we are. Let's look at the weather headlines. We got to get the old live cam in here. Now we'll get this animation rocking and rolling for you. Ah, oh, computers. Gotta love them. Ta-da! There it is. Look at that. Nice downpour right there. A few downpours pushed on through. And as for the weather headlines, well, here we go again. It's the best way I can put it because we're going to have a very repetitive pattern here. Very humid and muggy. And then sunnier and drier as we get into next week. Now, Radar, good old radar, our friend. Showing the rain, especially in the hill country, northern hill country, just north of I-10. We're seeing a good amount of rain, good soaking rain up there. And off to the west, we're talking west of Val Verde County, along 90, right around the Big Bend. Yeah, it's still have some soaking showers, but elsewhere it has mostly come to an end and we don't have that much left over in terms of rain. 77 degrees right now at the airport. Dew point is 74. Ultra muggy out there. Not a breeze either. It's calm wind. And look at these dew points. Uh, last reading in Pleasanton was 77. 75 for the dew point in Hondo. 75 in Carrizo Springs and Gonzales. So the dew points are at the oppressive levels, and that's where they're going to be for quite some time now. Air temperatures, 77. 
a popular number at the moment and some lower 70s up in the hill country and by the way as the temperature drops down at night and gets closer to that dew point the air just becomes more saturated and that can lead to some areas of patchy fog so something to keep in the back of your mind i don't know if we'll clear out enough to get our temperature to go all the way down to the dew point but it is possible in some spots isolated showers tomorrow morning and maybe some patchy fog 70s across most of the state marfa at 66 so a little bit cooler this has been good, good rainfall, a good portion of the state in drought right now. And so the rain that we've been seeing the past couple of days has been fantastic. And this is just today's rain out there across the state. And we've seen multiple days of this and we're going to see more. One reason is we don't have the big heat high. Usually you see that the big clockwise circulation, uh-uh, not now. Big upper level low off to the north of us, another low off to the east of us, the remnants of what was Tropical Storm Gordon. And no heat high planted overhead to suppress the thunderstorm activity. So we're going to remain in a very favorable pattern here for more daily showers and downpours. Tropical Storm Florence, we talked about this pushing off to the west, likely strengthening as we get into the early part of next week. And then we're also watching two other areas that will likely turn into tropical systems uh, just coming off the coast of Africa. So the tropics are heating up again. They're, they're awakening as September 10th is actually the average peak season for her in the Atlantic Basin for hurricanes. 75 in the morning, 91 tomorrow afternoon. More scattered showers and downpours. And as I said this weekend, I think we'll increase the activity a little bit more, especially Saturday afternoon through Saturday night and into the first part of Sunday as we get more upper level support coming in. All right, thanks so much, Adam. Yeah, thank you, Adam. Greg, we're talking Cowboys. It's no secret if the Cowboys want to make a run, <laughs> it goes through Zeke, right? Well, yeah, and the, the trouble with that is everybody knows you're going to run the ball. So how does Zeke and how do the Cowboys beat NFL defenses? When we come back, Zeke will let us know. And UTSA is ready to defend the dome coming up. If you or a loved one have been injured by a commercial truck, call me at 444-4444. There's only one number to remember, four. Friday on GMSA, San Antonio celebrates the World Heritage Festival. We'll preview an event called Mission Pachanga, the food and entertainment you can expect this weekend. Well, it's been raining practically all week long. Is that going to continue into the weekend? Find out Friday, 4.30 to 7 on Good Morning San Antonio. Everyone's doing it with a smartphone. Or a tablet. Now you can shop any Ansira dealership anytime online. We're Ansira.com. An easy way to find exactly what you're looking for. So, Ansira. It might be a little early for Jingle Bells, but it's never too soon to get your home ready for the holidays. That's why CW Floors and Lighting is selling Carndine Corlock Luxury Vinyl Plank for just $3.99 a square foot. Carndine Corlock is the best there is, and because it clicks and locks in place with no adhesive, installation is a snap. Right now, you'll find deals on select products throughout the store. So why wait? Save money today and get your home ready for the holidays. Only at CW Floors and Lighting. I'm Gina Ortiz-Jones, and I approve this message. Sir, do you know who your congressman is? Uh, no, I don't. Well, it's this guy, Will Hurd. What has he been up to? The guy who helped Congress screw up health care? Well, Hurd voted for the Republican tax law that will raise taxes on millions of middle-class families and increase health care premiums. Plus, gives massive tax cuts to corporations and the wealthiest 1% of Americans. He didn't mention that on TV. <laughs> that seems bad. I know, right? Any thoughts on that, Will? Remember the good old days when one person would tell another about a great experience and they tell another and, and another, another and, and so on? What if you found an AC or plumbing company that exceeded your expectations? Wouldn't you want to tell your friends? Check out what our friends are saying at comfort-air.com. Meet Walter. Walter was finding it harder and harder to hear people. He found himself missing out. Birthday parties, Friday nights out with friends. Then he came to Audicles Hearing Services. Now Walter isn't missing out on anything. Audicles. Call us today. Hey, this is Randy Carroll. I'm here at Manrique Custom Vision with Richard Doinoff and Dr. Manrique. And I'm just going to make these guys stand here right now because they're lousy at doing commercials. But what they are good at <laughs> is taking care of your eyes. Nearsighted, farsighted, you have an astigmatism. Maybe you want to get rid of your reading glasses like I did. This is the team that you need to see because they're going to do it. They're going to do it right. And that's great to hear, Randy, because remember, we're here to help everybody get rid of their glasses and contact lenses. Because in my office, everybody's a superstar.
Your KSAT app, the information you need when you need it. Breaking news alerts that always link. And when KSAT News is broadcasting live, your KSAT app is streaming live. Local, trusted, and constantly updating. Your KSAT app, in partnership with Ansira. The Dallas Cowboys are just days away from kicking off the 2018 season after a rough 9-7 finish last year and out of the playoffs. One of the reasons the Cowboys believe they will be better this year will be the performance of Ezekiel Elliott has had a quiet offseason for a change and the offensive line. There's no question the Cowboys rely on the run game to spark the offense, but what about the plans of NFL defenses that will stack the box against Dallas and force them to throw the ball? We face eight, nine, ten man fronts every week since I got here. So, I mean, I don't think, I don't know how many more guys they could throw in the box. I mean, yeah, there's going to be more focus, I believe, on me. But, I mean, I just don't understand how you can say we're going to throw more guys in the box. There's only 11 guys on the field, and uh, they're already putting as many as they can in there. So, I mean, it'll be our 11 versus theirs. All right, the Cowboys kick off their season at 325 this Sunday, and Case Central Sports will be there to help debut our first hour-long edition of Instant Replay. Meantime, the Houston Texans open their season against the Patriots in New England. Could not have picked a tougher season opener for the Texans who are trying to bounce back from an injury-riddled 4-12 finish last season. Now, this is a comeback game for J.J. Watt, who's missed the better part of the last two seasons with a back and leg injuries, but the entire city of Houston is rooting for his success following his unprecedented Hurricane Harvey relief campaign that grossed over $41.6 million becoming the largest crowdfunding success in the world. I'm very excited. You know, I'm sure that there, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are cautiously optimistic. I mean, obviously the last two years, um, we've, we've said the same thing. So I'm just looking forward to going out there playing football, letting it loose, having fun, and letting the chips fall where they may. Um, it's been a long road. It's been, uh, it's been a grind. It's been a lot of ups and downs over the last couple of years, obviously. But, uh, I mean, I love this game. I love my teammates. I love these guys. And I love coming to work every day. The Texans will be the first to kick off on Sunday when they face the Patriots in New England at noon. The Texas Longhorns need to win quickly in order to get over that very disappointing loss to Maryland in their season opener for the second straight season. The Horns are 22 and a half point favorites and they host Tulsa in their home opener this Saturday night at Royal Memorial Stadium. As bad as the offense looked against the Terrapins, the defense did show signs of improvement after a slow start that helped lead to a 17 point deficit. The giving up 263 yards on the ground last season against Maryland, the Longhorns defense reduced that to 143 for an average of just over three yards per carry. But after Tulsa, the Longhorns will have tough tests against 17th ranked USC and 16th ranked TCU. These next three games, including Tulsa, in my opinion, will be will foreshadow the entire season. And I, I think it's absolutely critical that we make DKR a hostile environment and that we show people that you're not going to come up in DKR and get fat on us. You're not you're not just going to do whatever you want to do in our home stadium because it means that much to us. Kickoff Saturday night at Royal Memorial Stadium will be at 7 p.m. Are the Roadrunners ready for their home opener? Next. Do you know your weather? Test yourself or learn something new. Weather 101. During the newscast, when we ask a question, take your best guess and stay tuned. Your weather authority will have the answer. Weather 101. Sponsored by Buyer Boys. Lone Star Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is your Southside Savings Headquarters. And now you can save even more during our summer clearance event. Get into a new Ram Quad Cab for just $2.98 a month. Or a new Jeep Grand Cherokee for only $3.27 a month. Or how about a new Jeep Renegade for a low $1.98 a month. For the lowest prices, shop online at LoneStarDodgeSA.com. Lone Star Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. I-35 just south of South Park Mall. Open Saturday. We are Lone Star. I keep Car crashes ruin lives. One person is injured every one minute and 59 seconds. When you need help, Gomez Law fights. After 40 years of fighting, we know what it takes to win. The Gomez Law Firm fights for you. Call 736-4040. I'm Mike. I'm Jed. I'm Mark. And we're lifelong farmers who had the crazy idea to start an all-organic farm in South Texas. Here at Tanaza Farms, our soil is the key to growing incredible organic produce for HEB. They buy almost everything we grow. Over half a million pounds of produce every year. Like beets, Swiss chard, and kale. They buy it as fast as we grow it. Guess we weren't so crazy after all. This is the Texas Organics Department at ATB. No store does more than my ATB. 
The Labor Day sale at Mattress Firm has been extended through Tuesday. And Brecken and Maryland can tell you with time running out, this is a deal you don't want to sleep on. Don't miss your chance to take home a free adjustable base up to a $699 value free with your qualifying mattress purchase. Or through Tuesday, get a king-size mattress for the price of a queen and a queen for a twin. Plus, every bed is on sale with savings of up to $600. Hurry in. The Labor Day sale is extended through Tuesday only. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. Through education, therapy, and support, Brighton is ready to help children overcome their hurdles. Early intervention and education is critical to preparing any child for a successful future. Rachel is graduating because when she experienced hurdles, her family brought her to the experts at Brighton. Whether your child is struggling with a learning disability, a developmental delay, or they simply need a strong academic foundation, the best futures begin at Brighton. Brighton, the right help at the right time can change a life. are now 15-point underdogs when they host Baylor in their home opener Saturday night in the Alamo Dome. That's because Baylor has greatly improved after their 1-11 and finish last year, winning their season opener against Abilene Christian 55-27. The Roadrunners were part of those 11 losses when they got their first win ever against a Power 5 team when they beat Baylor in Waco 17-10. That game when Baylor was caught in the middle of a sex scam involving the football team. We want to come home and we want to put our brand of football um, in the Alamo Dome on display in front of our fans and family uh, and play well. I think that's important to our team. It's important to our staff that we're able to go out and play to the best of our ability. Kickoff in the Alamo Dome between UTSA and Baylor will be at 6 p.m. Indy car driver Robert Wiggins fractured his spinal cord and his neck, both of his bones in both legs, and fractured his right forearm in this horrible crash last month at Pocono Raceway. The extent of his injuries revealed today by his family, the Canadian driver who will need months of rehabilitation. But every time I see this, I am surprised the man is even alive. That was initial thought. Is of course. He didn't make it. Yeah, no, but he's making it and he's going to get back, he says. All we'll right. see. Thank you, Greg. We'll be right back. It's the Get It Quick. It all must go. Blow it out at Save a Bundle. Holiday Red Tag Sale. Once a year sale. Hard to describe, but easy to enjoy. Hurry now to North Carolina Furniture Direct. Buy it today. Get it today. Friendship is the Texas State motto. And our way of being friendly is with dessert. Get the Texas Blizzard Meal Deal. A hunger buster, fries, a drink, and a mini blizzard. All for $5.99. Eat like a Texan. DQ. Circle K, home of the 79 cent Polar Pop Cup, is giving away a new car, $1,000, free gas for a year, and so much more. Stop by now and enter to win. We are Circle K. Thomas J. Henry consistently achieves multi-million dollar results for injured clients. Been hurt. Call Thomas J. Henry. Now at Con's Home Plus, save a lot of green during our Labor Day red, white, and blue tag sale. Save up to 35% or more on red tag appliances. Save 50% on white tag furniture bonus offers. And save up to $1,900 on blue tag big screen TVs. Want a low monthly payment? Good credit or no credit, we've got you covered. Go to cons.com to get approved. You want a better life and a better people are finding themselves in a Chevy for the first time. You can too during the Chevy Labor Day sales event. Now use Labor Day cash to get a total value of $87.50 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus trade up and get an additional $32.50 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. This Labor Day, discover why Chevy is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. It's the Get It Quick. It all must go. Blow it out at Save a Bundle. Holiday Red Tag Sale. Once a year sale. Hard to describe, but easy to enjoy. Hurry now to North Carolina Furniture Direct. Buy it today. Get it today. 
We got a bang up show for you tonight. Let's see what this baby can do. Well, an inspiring story out of California where an eight year old girl battling cancer used her make a wish opportunity to help kids in Puerto Rico. Zalea Guevara's goal is to send food, water, and 300 toys to families on the one year anniversary of Hurricane Maria, which is next week. Despite going through her own struggle, Guevara has a message for people living there, telling them to keep their heads held high and know they are never alone. More rain tomorrow, especially into the afternoon. Yeah, downpours here and there. And temperatures around 90 degrees, very humid. Into the weekend, I think we'll see even more numerous showers and downpours. All right, thank you, Adam. Thank you, Adam. That does it for the night. Uh, good morning, San Antonio. Starts at 4.30. Good night.